In this course, I'm going to be building upon the demo code from a previous video I did on the GamePad MPM module by creating a new module that is specific to the Xbox 360 controller. Now if you haven't watched my video on GamePad yet, then don't fret. You most certainly can if you'd like. It's free, so you don't have to pay extra to get caught up or anything, and I link to it in the course description if you're interested in watching it. But the code I used in that video was actually taken directly from the sample code provided by the GamePad author here on the MPM site. Since I'm going to be wrapping the GamePad package in my own reusable module, I'm going to create a new JavaScript file called Xbox 360 Controller to house my code. Now I'm a fan of using strict mode, so before I go any further here, I'm going to add the use strict statement here at the top. And since I want to be able to create new instances of my new module, I'll need to set up a constructor function to do so. And then I will just simply export it so that it can be required in other JavaScript files. If you're new to the module.export statement here, it's provided by Node.js as a way for you to expose members of a file, such as properties, functions, and objects, to be used in other JavaScript files. Anything not added to the exports object will not be accessible directly outside of this file. In this case, I'm exporting the constructor function so that other JavaScript files can instantiate new Xbox 360 controller objects. Looking at the test.js file, the first couple of things that need to happen are that GamePad needs to be required and initialized, so I will start with just copying the require statement over from that file. And now I will create an init function in my new file, which will just simply call GamePad's init function. I'll add my new function to the prototype though, so that all instances of the Xbox 360 controller object inherit the same function definition. And by nature of being defined on the prototype, it is actually included with the export statement I added just a bit ago, so I don't need to export it separately. All right, now I'll just plug the gamepad init function in here. And one function I did not cover in my video on the gamepad module is the shutdown function. It does not necessarily have to be called, and is more or less just a convenient way to prematurely clean up resources in an application when gamepad is no longer needed. However, since I'm wrapping the gamepad package with my new controller module, I want to expose this functionality in case it's needed at some point, so I will just tack on a shutdown function to the prototype as well, which we'll just call directly into gamepad shutdown function. Alright, and that's all of the functions that my new module is going to offer, so let's move on now to see how we can wrap gamepad's events and emit our own.